good afternoon and welcome back to the channel. Uh, a couple of months ago I built this beautiful pearl and uh, I had some concerns about the price of having it heated with uh, one quote coming in at seven and a half thousand for an electric uh, pool heater so I just had a bit of a look on YouTube as to what the options were for uh, a bit of a do-it-yourself system and uh, there's mine in the background and let's go and take a closer look okay so what you're seeing here is my camping solar panel it's hooked up to a bilge pump salt water bilge pump that and I've bought all these supplies other than the solar panel from from Bunnings uh, it's hose clamped onto the bilge pump and then I've bought 150 meters of black poly tube and they're put together at four or five times because they're 25 meter lengths with uh, just little connectors they're about a dollar each and then I have a tap on the end just to restrict the flow so it heats the water up um, so I've also got a, I bought a temperature gun uh, just so I could see what was happening uh, temperature wise. So if we actually uh, have a look at the pavers here, uh, the pavers, and it's um, 2.30 in the afternoon and what you're seeing is uh, 43 degrees on the pavers so during the day it can get a lot hotter. Uh, just over here on the the water temperature at the moment it's um, been cloudy for the last couple of days so the water temperature is actually quite low at 25 degrees but if I hover over the the jet uh, hopefully the camera can pick this up so there we go 30 31 degrees 25 31 25. Sun hits the solar panel and runs the pump and there we go. Pretty much uh, water heating for less than $200. And just another small tip, if any shade gets on the solar panel at all, it's going to have a quite a large detriment onto the you know the productivity of the pump so as I shade the panel here you can see it's you can hear it as well that it's all but stopped um, so a, a nice sunny place for your your panel okay working you know big difference in the, just having a little palm or someone walk in front of it makes it stop almost straight away but if it's in the full sun it works perfectly all right so there we are just a quick little video uh, showing my pool heating at the moment and it is just a do-it-yourself experiment so uh, I will eventually if it pays off in the long run I might even put it up on the roof or on uh, on top of the shed there in a larger size and get some extra heating and uh, I did forget to mention that the pool bilge pump actually turns the water over about once once every five hours because it's a it's about just over 6,000 litres per hour so I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, uh, like and subscribe and feel free to leave any comments. Tell me about what you've done and I'll catch you on the next one.